host of a creepy crawly, waiting to nest in some dark places. They're, they're, they have an uncanny knack of nesting in one's knickers. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Hmm? So you must wear some protective equipment of some sort. Sir, we do not wear Kevlar long johns and heavy boots for the fashion statement. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I know it seems a little bit embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Because there is that issue about the Peruvian. Right, right. There is a matter of that motive. Well, After all, you do have the Peruvian face behind you. What about that? New dirt. I was going to tell you about this. Mm. See, the issue is, is that if image and dignity worries you that a life of archaeology is not for you. Yeah. The tales of potential humiliation, I could tell you. Oh, remember that time in the Brazilian rainforest? Oh. The natives had us stripped down to our all together and danced the hokey pokey before they would show us the way to the temple of the sun. They said it was to appease the gods. <laughs> I think they were having us on. Pocus Goldmeister. It worked, didn't it? <laughs> well, and they enjoyed it. They were smiling. They were smirking. So a tribe of primitives had a little fun at our expense. Primitives don't post to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we could just get back away from all of this silliness and get back to more important things, I, for one, would cast my neck towards that collector over there. He had the same shifty eyes as that pharaoh that oversaw the extermination of the Haitian tribe of 2406 BC. I know. I took them out of the jar. <gasps> you never told us. Well, one doesn't, does one? How are they? Remarkable. And? and I dropped one. And? and it bounced. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> just, um, just one last question, Professor. Yes? Are the leather gloves crucial in the handling of these animals? Only if one does not wish to die grotesquely with their brains oozing out of their ears. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> Indeed, it does not. Which, uh, which leaves our mild-mannered accountants. They were going to kill me. I said I was sorry. <laughs> what were you expecting, Mr. Akis? Honor among thieves? I beg your pardon. Oh, come now, Abe. May I call you Abe? <laughs> You're slick. Mm. My agency has spent an awful lot of time tracking the finances of this firm. <laughs> the trail is so twisted that uh, half of our forensic accounting team is on the stress leave, and the rest have replaced their pinups and calendars with pictures of you coming out of the shower. Ooh, the shower? <laughs> Remember, sir, you have no secrets. So what was it? Yeah. Greed? Fear? Jealousy? Really, it, it doesn't really matter. For you had plenty of motives, but you were the only one with opportunity. Really, it's too bad that Dolores' prank caused Leech to reach into his jacket when he did. If he'd been bitten at the airport or in the car on the way, you probably would have been fine. Dusty. Yes. Am I correct in assuming that the uh, leather gloves always reside on Mr. Leach's jacket, or Mr. Leach's desk? Oh, yes, absolutely. And, uh, never buy the menagerie. Oh, no. Young man, anyone who leaves their protective equipment out as a potential nesting site <laughs> deserves what they get. Or what gets them. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, sir, I see only two pairs of leather gloves in this room. There's those, which have been in plain sight the whole time, and, well, uh, these. Oh. They are leather, aren't they? Wow. Oh, Abe. Oh, what? Uh. For you, Dolores, I love you. And, well, I think they were going to kill me. And maybe cheat me. But mostly for you. You know oh, this. Abe. <laughs> Will you I wait for me? Grow up, man. <laughs> Will you wait for me? <laughs> You're kidding, right? I've got six million dollars in the Cayman Islands. Hey, half of that's mine. You tried to kill me. Uh, six million? Well, okay. What about the pie? 